Hello everyone, thank you for joining. Good to see you again. So let's get started. Today is the 17th of September 2020. And this is on Thursday. So uh, market's moving. And uh, I, I just uh, scammed some charts and uh, tried to talk about uh, Ichimoku analysis today. So Thank you for joining everyone, good to see you. I see uh, lots of traders coming in. Very nice to see you again. So, um, and for those who, who are new to my channel, uh, let me introduce first myself. And my name is Kei, and I am a Japanese full-time Forex trader based in Tokyo, Japan. And in this YouTube channel, I mainly talk about how to simplify your market analysis and how to be time efficient and most importantly, how to become a non-losing trader over time. And also, I have been using Ichimoku Kin Kohyo for the last five years as one of my main trade strategies. And I have been sharing extensive knowledge from the original book in this YouTube also. And as far as I know, I'm the only Japanese trader who teaches Ichimoku Kin Kohyo from the original books in English. So hopefully, you enjoy my Ichimoku lectures too in this YouTube channel. I run the closed Ichimoku community also. So if you're interested, you can always click the join button and you're always welcome to join the community. So every day I have uh, I talk about different topics about the market and today's on Thursday. So every Thursdays and every Tuesdays I talk about Ichimoku Kinkohyo, Ichimoku basic lecture. So today, the analysis will be pretty much focused on Ichimoku. So let's get started. And as a disclaimer, as usual, uh, all this knowledge, contents based on my own experience. So when you take trades, please do with your risk. So let's see who's your first. Thanapol, thank you for joining. Good to see you. Um, Tishepo. And Josie, Baldev, KB, Maru, thank you for joining, to see you. And Mr. Finantis, George, Jeroen, nice to see you again. Arukadi, Vincent, away. And uh, yeah, good to see you, Femin. Thank you for joining as well, good to see you. And uh, let's see, Benjamin, Henry, Vincent, and uh, Mehdi. And uh, Cyrus, Aditya, Lawrence, WM, Brian. And Matuwes, thank you for joining as well. To see you. US futures down, alright? Yeah, we'll see on that one. US futures. Uh, MHB, thank you for joining. To see you. Alright, Onkar, Sean, thank you for joining as well. Looks like you came back home just five minutes ago. <laughs> yeah, do I look like it? I was here all day long today, <laughs> basically. So, um, yeah, maybe. It's just because I turned the camera on and yeah, maybe I feel a little bit of, uh, you know, in front of the camera. And that's why, probably. <laughs> Hi Prashant, Melanie, thank you for joining, to see you. Lance, Godley, Popo and Hindra, welcome, welcome. So let's dive into the market now. And here is CADJPY. I was looking for a sell chance today on this one. However, I didn't find any confirmation to sell. But CAD JPY looks to be a nice downtrend. And starting from the daily analysis, daily chart is, I think it was flat. Yeah, daily chart flat. Kumo is single span A is retracing backwards. But Kumo itself is moving flat. And uh, single span B is flat. Tenkan Kijun Sen has been dead crossing. And also, uh, Chikou Spine is breaking the candles downwards. And also, price is breaking the Kumo downwards too. So, you might wonder, okay, so this is now Sanyaku Gyakuten signal. And you might look for sell chance here. But unfortunately, this is not the Sanyaku signal. I mean, the order is not really correct. To, uh, to make the Sanyaku signals to be corrected, uh, you have to see Tenkan Kijun cross first. So this one, Tenkan-sen, Kijun-sen, in this case, dead cross, should come first, 
and then Chikospan break should come next and then Kumo breakout should should come in the end so that it becomes a true Sanyaku Gyakuten signal so that we can expect the price continue to go down this way but in this case looks like the Chikospan break and Tenkan Kijun dead cross happen at the same time and also Kumo breakout is happening already but uh, if you look at the Kumo itself this is not really twisted yet right this is not twisted yet so until we see Kumo twist we cannot be positive to sell in this case so make sure to follow the right order of this uh, Sanyaku signal once again Tenkan Kijun Sen cross should happen first and then Chikou Span should come next and then Kumo breakout should come third and uh, when, when the candlestick breaks the Kumo you have to see the Kumo twist if the Kumo is not twisted like this then we have to wait for the Kumo twist to be more trustable Sanyaku Gyakuten signal here and then we're gonna see Chikou Span breaks the Senko Span B downwards here and this becomes more reliable for its downtrend so in this case um, you know because this Sanyaku signal is not in the right order I would expect that the price may continue to go up this way too or it go down and we don't know which way it's going um, we better look at the lines I think we can draw the trend line like this way and looks like the market is being supported by this line and also the upper line will be like uh, on this level so uh, this is to me this is like ascending triangle and the price may break upwards to this way and this Kuma breakout we cannot really trust we cannot really trust so um, yeah but the reason why I was looking for a sell chance was based on the 4 hour chart 4 hour chart so let's take a look at the 4 hour chart now alright USDJPY doing good now alright let's take a look at it later USDJPY alright hi Dean thank you for joining Remy and the Prander thank you good to see you Lin Ankara, good to see you. Could you please teach us how to use Ichimoku in index option trading? Um, I don't trade options, so I'm not really sure how you can apply Ichimoku in option trades. But um, I can also always uh, share my idea of um, how you look at the market by Ichimoku so that you can apply yourself. Hi Roy, thank you for joining. Good to see you. So yeah, um, daily chart, once again, daily chart looks to be ascending triangle. So the price might go up or this way, is my view. Or this is, more precisely, this is in the P wave like this. So either way, I think this is at the bottom of this, uh, of this uh, ascending, ascending uh, trend line. So there's a chance that the price go up from here. That's my expectation. And so um, let's take a look at the 4. In a 4 hour chart, when I was looking at the chart, uh, the Kumo was sloping down, and Kijun Sen was down, and Chikou Span was all the way down the candles. And that's why I was looking for sale chance in lower time frames. But now we see that all the lines are flat. Uh, technically, uh, Senko span B is flat, Senko span A is flat, Kijun Sen is flat right now. So in this kind of condition, we better stop looking for the sell chance. Because it might reverse from here upwards. Yeah, so um, let's just wait until these lines, these hundred lines to move down and go down to the lower time frames. All right, uh, selling USDJPY. All right, based on four-hour chart. Okay, that's good. That's good. Let's take a look at it later. 
All right. Um, personal trading. Oh, I don't do the personal trading right now. The closest one that you, that you can get is this uh, uh, GTS, Global Trading School. And now uh, October session is already closed because it's full now. So, uh, but there, there, there is a new opening in next January 2021. There will be a new opening on this Global Trading School. So, yeah, if you're interested, please write me an email so that I can put you on a waiting list. And the price will be the same on the next January. So, um, yeah, please write me an email. Hi, Karim. Thank you for joining. And yes, sir, good to see you from Iran. Good to see you. Okay, Wei says, so we need to wait for Kumo twist after the Sayan Koten happens. Yep, in this case, that's true. So coming back to daily chart. Yeah, once again, we see Kumo breakout, but the Kumo itself is not twisted yet. So we have to wait for the twist and look for the sell chance afterwards. Yeah, it is very important. The order, the right order is always important. All right, so it's, uh, let's see. Wim says, uh, so we can suspect that the next candle for uh, CATJPY will be a white candle, Mr. K, in 4 hour chart time frame. Um, not sure. We're not sure yet. Um, it can be white, it can be bullish candle, or it can be bearish. And we don't know which way the market will move in this case. Based on these lines, I think this might, you know, this might go up from here. But because Kuma flat and Kijun Sen, Tenkan Sen kind of pointing downwards now, this is ranging. So, for example, it can it can fake break and then go up to this way too. So either way, we have to wait for the decent down or up trend. It's a key. All right. Yep, yeah, Marusan, thank you for your reminder. So if you liked today's live, please press a like button so that it keeps me going every day. All right, Mehdi says, Hi K, if you have a nice downtrend in 4-hour chart, but price are close to an important support level on the 4-hour chart, do you wait for breakout or take the trade if you have signals? I take the trade if I have signals. I do. Uh, the reason why I still look for the sell, well, in this case, technically, when Senko Span B or A and Kijun Sen move down, I'm willing to take a sell because there's a chance that the price breaks this line downwards in that case. But now, these lines are flat in 4-hour chart. So that means that the price might reverse upwards. So that's something that I'm waiting for. And actually, this is the power of these Hanne lines. Hanne lines is actually this uh, Senko Span BA. When the Kumo is bearish, if you're new to Ichimoku, the upper line is called Senko Span B, and lower part is called Senko Span A. And in my chart setting, green one is the Kijun Sen, blue one is the Tenkan Sen. And these four lines are called Hanne line in, in, in Japanese. Hanne means half price or mid price in Japanese because they they take the mid price of a certain time period in the past. For example, Tenkan Tenkan Sen takes nine candles in the past, and it has the mid price of it. And Kijun Sen takes twenty six candles in the past, and it can, it take, plots the mid price. And Senko Span B takes the fifty two candles in the past, and it has the mid price of it. So yeah, these are called mid price lines or Hanne lines in Japanese. And the angle of Hanne line is very, very important. When they are flat, there is no direction of the market. When they are pointing down, like a couple of hours ago, this was it was downtrend. So we we can be positive. We could be positive to sell, but now they are flat, so we cannot be positive that the price continue to go down this way. It might be supported by this trend line and it might go up from here too. 
So that's why I say until these lines move down, I would wait. I would wait for that. If it reverses backwards, then I won't look for buy chance. Because the price most likely is still below the Kijun Sen. So if the price starts to go backwards this way, creating like a bullish end wave, and moves keeps moving up this way, then I will wait for this Kumo breakout. And if this is the right order of Sanyaku Koten signal, then after the Kumo break, I will start to look for buy chance afterwards. But in between, the price reverses up here until Kumo breakout. In this area, I wouldn't take a, I, I wouldn't take any trace. I wouldn't take any trace because in this area, by based on Ichimoku analysis, this is ranging. There, there is no direction in the market. So that's why we should stay away when when the price is in between, especially in between Kijun Sen and Kumo. We better stay away from the market, is a theory. Hi Hamze, thank you for joining, to see you. So I hope you get the idea of the Ichimoku correctly. This is very very important. Alright, Wimby Normal says, okay. Thank you for your insight, Mr. K. I will wait for the false breakout. Yep. Yep. Let's just wait for the you know decent bounce or decent breakout. Then better to you know uh, enter into the market. Um Baldev says K on USTJPY if our chart criteria was present for a sell, would you consider a short trade or wait? Confluence agreement on a daily chart. All right, so let's take a look at the USDJPY now. Can we switch it? Or would you like some? Would you like to add something on this CJPY now? Still, let me read through some comments now. Hi, Danish. Thank you for joining. To see you. Welcome. Karmi says, could you please say if Senko Span B is lower than the mid price of Kijun Sen, uh, downtrend will be strong or not? If Senko Span B is lower than the mid price of Kijun Sen. Um, in that case, I think that is uptrend. If Kijun Sen is above the Senko Span B, that is uptrend. And. Um, yeah, so um, the most important information in Ichimoku is actually the, the, uh, the relation between price level and these lines. Sometimes, you know, I've seen, you know, some people say that, you know, um, Chikou span to Kijun Sen is important, Chikou span to Kumo is important. And yes, it is important. And Tenkan Kijun Cross is important. Kumo Twist is also important too. But the most important information of Ichimoku is the relation between the current price and these lines. So make sure to understand this concept correctly, and then we can talk about these crosses or Chikou Span to Kumo and so on. So yeah, right now, simply speaking, the current price on this CGJPY in flower chart is below the Tenkan Sen below Kijun Sen below Kumo and price all the way below the candles. So basically this is downtrend. The equilibrium is towards the sell biased and short to mid to long term. And once the price goes above, comes above the Tenkan Sen, that's the indication of this uptrend in the short term but still downtrend in the mid to long term. So, this is pretty much simple, but still powerful. And this theory applies on any any time frames, either whether it's a daily chart, weekly chart, or even 15 or 5 minute chart, the same rule applies on any time frame. So,
Well, thank you, Mr. K, for the ranging direction, uh, de uh, detection strategy. Yep. So basically, when price is in between Kijun Sen and Kumo, I mean Kijun Sen and Senko Span B, um, basically we better stay away from that time frame. So let me just add one more thing here. Um, so let's say the price comes up, comes back up because of this trend line. Let's say the market respect this line and moves up backwards this way and breaks the Tenkan Sen upwards and then breaks the Kijun Sen upwards like this, for example. And in this case, when you see this kind of move in the market, of course, in 4 hour chart, you don't want to take a buy yet because the whole time, this is still bearish end wave. See, in terms of the wave analysis, this is bearish end wave still. So the price can go down all the way to this way. However, if you look at the lower time frames, like one hour chart in this area, you might see that it is uptrend. In a four hour chart, this is still in the middle of the downtrend on this wave analysis, but in one hour chart, you might see that this is uptrend. Maybe the Kumo might be moving up and the price will be above Kijun Sen, above Tenkan Sen, maybe. And Chikou Span should be above the candles too. So in one hour chart, you see uptrend. So you can take that one hour chart to ride on that one hour trend. But you cannot ride on the four hour chart trend because in four hour chart, in wave theory, this is still in the middle of the downtrend. So we have to expect at some point the price may reverse again and it goes downwards this way until the price breaks the Kumo upwards this way. And that's what I mean by, you know, uh, not suggesting any trades between Kijun Sen and Senko Span B. Because uh, between Kijun Sen and Senko Span B, um, we don't know which way the price is going, basically. In a lower time frame, it is uptrend, but in this 4 hour chart, this is, um, you know, there is no direction to it. And that's why I don't take trades when the price is in between Kijun Sen and Senko Span B. So, yes, let's take a look at the USTJPY now. Mehdi, you're welcome. And Shakuni, stay gold. Stay gold. All right, Remy says, uh, Kate, what is the status of the wave book you intended to release this month? Oh, the wave theory and price theory and time theory book. Um, it's gonna be uh, it's gonna be available uh, sometime next week, hopefully next week or at least within September. It should be available, and it's going to be available within this uh, Ichimoku community. I'm not gonna release it public because of the copyright issues. I don't re I don't release it public, but um, it's gonna be available in this community. And once I release it, I will let you know in public so that when you're ready, you can join the community and get that book also. And I'm thinking to review chapter by chapter within the Ichimoku community membership lives. So uh, yeah, that's, that's my recent project. Okay, I've got a couple more questions. Hi K, what if the 4 hour chart time frame is downtrending and 1 hour chart is ranging, can we still find a sell chance in 5? In that case, no. 1 hour chart should be also downtrending too. So let's say 4 hour chart is downtrending. Technically right now this is not downtrending because these lines are flat technically. But let's say 4 hour chart is downtrending. Then we look at the 1. And in one, we see that this is downtrending. You see uh, Senko Span B flat, but technically um, Senko Span A is moving down and um, Kijun Sen is moving down too. So in this case, I would look at either 5 or 15 minute chart to look for the sell chance. Yeah. And on this one too, the price is below Tenkan Sen, so this is downtrending. But if you look at the daily, um, 
the price just broke the Kumo downwards, but the Kumo itself is not twisted yet. So in this market condition, I would ignore the daily chart and focus on the 4-hour chart downtrend. If Kumo Kijun Sen start to point down, then I still look for sell chance. Because most likely in that case, the price continue to go down after breaking this trend line downwards this way. Is my expectation. So, and this is the beauty of Ichimoku, uh, is that the uh, you know you can uh, you can potentially capt capture uh, if the price will break the line or not, whether it's a trend line or a support resistance lines. You know, um, th sometimes the price just breaks, right? Sometimes price breaks up or downwards, and by looking at these angles of these Ichimoku Hane lines, you can forecast if the price will be breaking the line or not. Well, thank you, sir, for the buy strategy you have given us with the trend line wave and Ichimoku. Sure, sure. This is, yep, it's important. Hi, Tibu. Thank you for joining. To see you. Your videos are excellent. I learned a lot. You're welcome. Glad to hear that. All right, so let's move to uh, USDJPY now. Starting from the daily chart. Okay, USDJPY daily chart looks to be downtrend. Right now, the Kumo is moving down. Senko span B down, A down. And Kijun Sen is also downwards. However, in this case, Kumo itself is too thin, too small. So, I, will, I would compare between daily chart and 4-hour chart and which one of these time frames has more decent Kumo and Kijun Sen angles. Because daily chart, Kumo is still too small, so it might twist backwards anytime soon, in this case. Like when you see this, uh, when you see this previous twist to this, uh, to this bullish Kumo, actually twisted back, to bearish Kumo now. So there is still a chance that the price, I mean Kumo twist backwards to bullish Kumo anytime soon. So in this case, I would look at the 4-hour chart and compare with the daily chart. Okay, Prashant says, uh, what is 4-hour chart is flat and 1-hour chart is downtrend. Can we still find a sell chance in 5? Yes. You can. In that case, you follow one hour chart trend, right? Remember to follow one hour chart trend in that case. You don't follow the four hour chart trend, but you follow one hour chart trend. So that means when one hour chart goes flat, you exit. And you don't want to switch to four hour chart in the middle of the trace. If you see four hour chart, four hour chart to be downtrending afterwards, then you look for another trade chance based on a 4-hour chart and 1-hour chart. And that will be the whole new position. Okay, so let's take a look at the 4. USDJPY 4-hour chart. And this is more beautiful downtrend. Uh, Kumo is first of all longer than a daily chart. So this is better. So most likely, I would pick 4-hour chart in this case. Senko span B down, A down, Kijun down. Beautiful downtrend. And the price has been resisted by the Tenkan Sen twice before. So we can expect that the price, when the price comes back to Tenkan Sen next time, it might be resisted and continue to go down this way. So. With that in my head, I would look at the one hour chart. In one, okay, this is also downtrend. This is also downtrending. Kuma's been sloping down and Senko Span B down, A down, Kijun Sen down. And price has been, in this case, in this time frame, the price has been resisted by this Kijun Sen. Every time the price comes back to Kijun Sen, it tends to push down. And now the price is heading towards the Kijun Sen. So once the price touches on this Kijun Sen, I expect the price to.
to go down this way as well. USDJPY daily chart, beautiful Sanyaku Koten signal. All right, daily chart shows that this is um, Gyakuten signal. But over here is not was not the Sanyaku Gyakuten signal actually. Um, yeah, it's been ranging, and now it's sloping down. So uh, yeah, it just broke. Basically, in the daily chart, it broke this uh, triangle P wave downwards, and now it's going down. So again, one hour chart looks to be beautiful downtrend. So I would look for the sell chance on a 5 or 15 minute chart. In 15, let's take a look at the 15 first. So today, I will focus on the Ichimoku and also the lines. I will focus on Ichimoku lines and I wouldn't talk about so much about the Bollinger Bands or Stochastics. So let's see how we can capture the trading edge by Ichimoku continuously in 5 or 15. So in 15, we see that uh, Senko Span B flat, A flat, Kijun Sen also flat. So this is consolidating, it's ranging. So the price can go up, can go down. Uh, you know, there are two chances here. And Chiko Span, however, Chiko Span is below the candles, and the price, current price level is below the Kijun Sen. This is still bearish. Yeah, this is still bearish. Sorry, my dog is playing with uh, some toys here. He's he's down below <laughs> right now. <laughs> Sorry. Yeah. So um, yeah. So this one, I would wait until the price goes down this way and take a sell, because in this case, I look at the waves. I look at the waves, and this is reverse in wave now. This is a re reversing end wave. So if the price stops here and goes down as this way, then I expect the price continue to, go, to continue to go down this way. So that's one way to look at it. And also there is a looks like there's a reversal line here that we can draw. So before the market looks to be supported in this area and now if the price will be resisted in this area, then it should go down this way. So it's either you place a sell right now and put the stop above recent high, which is at this level, and expect the price to break the recent low downwards this way. That's one way to take a trade. Or I would look at the 5 also. I would look at the 5 minute chart and now we see that the price is now in between Kijun Sen and Kumo here. Um, the Senko Span B is down, but Senko Span A is rolling back. This is retracing backwards. And that was because the price has been retracing backwards this way. Oh, now the price is coming down below the Kijun Sen in 5. So that's a good sign. So once again, looks like the price is respecting this 104.813 level, horizontal line. And also, looks like uh, the price is, the market is in the middle of the reverse end wave now. So I expect the price continue to go down this way. We can draw like a channel line, like this way, and the price might continue to go down this way too. Okay, and also I would look at this wave, this uh, wave in five. I would count the candles of the wave. So um, I mark these lows and highs. I mark these lows and highs, and I check the intervals in between. I check the intervals in between, and um, yeah. So in this case, uptrend is obviously. Uh, much much tighter than this downtrend because the first uptrend um, it was it was uh, eight bars eight bars uptrend 
Hold on, let me uh, put this one. Yeah, the uptrend was 8 bars. And then downtrend was 13 bars. 13 bars. And then the next uptrend was... This is even tighter. This is only uh, 5. 5 candles in between. So now we can expect at least 13 bars of downtrend in my opinion so that will be like 13 bars will be um hold on let's see this is uh 10 30 in utc time zone and then we can expect the market will go down this way so time cycle wise i expect the market continue to go down and hold on let me put this uh trend line now so this is the channel line that we can draw and now the price is going back and forth like in this in this pattern so after 13 bars the price can reach the next low because this is in the middle of this reverse in wave consecutive And this is in 5 minute chart, so the time cycle won't, won't work that much. But this is one way to expect the market to experiment this way. And if it goes well, then of course we can apply this time cycle in future market as well, in 5. Yeah, but this is one way to look at it, by Ichimoku. So, so that means that uh, if, if the market continue to go down this way, then at this point, you don't want to sell because most likely the price will go up to this level. So you would want to look for the sell chances here. On these high, higher levels, you want to look for sell. So if you missed the sell chance right now, then we have to wait for the price to come back to this level and place a sell here. And then expect the price to go down this way or continue to go down this way. So let me come back to some of the comments now. Lavapreet says, Hi K, can we please uh, get a video on technical analysis purely and focus on the price action candlestick only so we can see more edges to the market. Ichimoku helping out big though. Sure. Yeah, I can. Um, I can only talk about the price action and the lines and analyze the market. Yeah, that would be interesting. That would be uh, an interesting topic to cover. Yeah, I used to. I used to take trades only by the price action and candlestick patterns. I didn't have uh, Ichimoku Kin Kohyo sometimes. I only look at the candlestick patterns and take trades. So yeah, that would be great. <laughs> Is Nikkei 2 to 5 showing a flat? Um, I think so. I, I think it's going flat right now. USDJPY daily beautiful Sayanku Koten signal. So that was Sayanku Gyakuten signal. When it goes down, it's called Sayanku Gyakuten. When it's bullish, then it's called Sayanku Koten signal. Uh, let's see. Baldev says, Mr. K, on UCJPY one hour chart currently, would we consider Senko Span B flat or down? So let's come back to one hour. Hold on, let me just move this one. And one hour chart. Yeah, one hour chart Senko Span B is moving down. Yeah, technically, right now, this part is sloping down. So I would regard this as a downtrend. Hi Fabio, thank you for joining. To see you. Yep. So um, so once again, USDJPY is a good one to look for the sell chance. So in fifteen, I would keep this line. I would keep this horizontal line, and if the market will be going down this way. I mean this way, 
then I will take a sell. Or at the breakout, at the breakout retest, I would place a sell here. Yeah, and also in 5 minute chart too. In 5, yeah, I would keep this line, keep this horizontal line on this 104.8 level, a, a 2 level. And if the price breaks the recent low downwards, then I would look for, look to sell after the retest. After the retest of the breakout, I would look for the sell. And to me, once again, this is bearish because still this is bearish in wave. Technically, the lows are renewed lower and the highs are renewed lower too. So technically, this is bearish. So I expect this kind of move and breaks it downwards. And now the price is below the Kijun Sen. So this, this is a good timing to sell also. And once the price, after you take a sell for example, then uh, after the price reverses backwards and it goes into the Kumo, then I exit. Or especially when, when the price breaks this area upwards this way in this uh, recent high uppers, then I exit. I will exit. Yeah, because most likely, this is becoming bullish in wave now. So it's safe to exit at this time. And also in this case, I wouldn't really care so much about this Chikou span overlap. Uh, this is overlapping. But once again, this is only 5 minute chart, so this is very like a small time frame. So this overlap can happen a lot in 5. So I will just ignore this one. I would only focus on this price to Kijun Sen Kumo and also the wave pattern in the market. Thank you, Kay, for the confirmation on Nikkei 225. You're welcome. Hi, Jack Smith. Thank you for joining. And Baldev, you're welcome too. Mother says, uh, Hi, what's the most powerful pair in Forex? Is it uh, GPPUSD or GPPJPY? Yeah, GPP pairs are very volatile. So um, you can uh, find many chances. And when it goes up or down, it goes very stably and very fast. So in that sense, it's a good pair. But in general, I think uh, I recommend you to look at, take these major pairs. Major pairs meaning Euro, USD, and GBP, JPY pairs. CAD would be the one also, and AUD too. And I wouldn't look so much on in New Zealand or CHF uh, unless, unless I see a good trend, I don't actively look at them. And that's why they are not on my watch list because they become volatile so much in lower time frames so I get stopped, stopped out many times in lower time frames so if you are more towards a swing trader then maybe you can take trades on New Zealand or CHF but in my opinion if you are a trader who wants to capture the edges in lower time frames like 5 or 15 minute charts then I think you better not to pick New Zealand or CHF, in my opinion. But always better to better to stick to these major pairs at least. All right, Wimbino uh, says, um, why can you put a support line in 104.825? 1.285, all this area. Uh, is it because there is a big bearish candle after two bullish candle that covers those two bullish candles? Um, so the reason why I put this horizontal line, 104.825, is that um, it looks like the market is respecting this area. Uh, there was a former supports in on this uh, 16 September between like uh, 13. 1310 UTC and also on this one 1805 UTC also 
there was a supports, couple of supports in the past, and then now it's been resisted in this area. So that's why I just keep this line. Yeah, it's like a reversal. Before it was support, but now it's becoming a uh, resistance. So the roll is gonna reversing. So that's why I call this like a roll reversal line. The roll has been reversed from support to resistance now. So when the price goes up this way, then it can go down. Yeah, that's possible. That's possible. Okay, so yep, I guess um, I will be ending this Ichimoku. I will be ending this public life and switch to Ichimoku membership live afterwards. And tonight Ichimoku membership live will exclusively focus on the wave analysis. Oh, Roy says, is there a maximum number of uh, high and low inside a P wave? Um, there's no like maximum number to it. Um, as long as it lasts, the P wave can last long time. So yeah, there's no like decent maximum number within the P wave in terms of the candles. All right, so let's see. So yep, there we go. I hope you enjoyed today's lecture as well. So um, yeah, so I give this talk every day on this YouTube uh, channel. So uh, if you liked today's live, please press a good button before you leave and please make sure to subscribe and click the bell button so that you get notified as you as I do these lives every day. And if you liked today's idea, trade idea or my lives in the past, please share it with your friends so that uh, you, they can also benefit from my channel. So for those who for, so for those who are Ichimoku members, I will see you on the next one, Ichimoku Membership Live, which happens in about 12 minutes later. And for those who are joining on this public live, I will see you tomorrow. Okay? Yep. Thank you. You're welcome, everyone. Once again, uh, Wimbino, WM, Femin, Karim, Hendra, Sham, George, Musi, Wei, Fabio, Matilwes, Lawrence, Roy, Melanie, Gamini, Henry, Aditya, Baldev and Marusan and Gamini, I think I said it twice, <laughs> Brian and Sean and everybody else, thank you for joining. So stay healthy and stay gold. Bye for now. Matane.